Thor combat vehicle. The Roar of the Thunder. Created by Alston Armor in 2680 for the SLDF, it was the only submitted design that met the Quartermaster Command's 80 km per hour specification, and despite criticized initially for being limited to certain terrain types due to its wheeled configuration, its advanced case protection, which allows the crew and vehicle to survive an ammunition explosion, and other advantages, outweighed its drawbacks. While not able to fire on the move, the Thor can set up in less than a minute, and then proceed again in 30 seconds. The advanced transoptical aiming system, used by spotters, allows for accurate fire with its thumper artillery piece, while the rate of fire and two tons of shells allows groups of these vehicles to level entire city blocks in a matter of minutes. For self-defense, the vehicle has two medium lasers mounted on an elevated turret just above the main body, as well as seven and a half tons of ferrofibrous armor. The Thor proved its worth during the Amaris coup. However, the primary builder was destroyed in 2777, and many would leave with Karinsky's Exodus fleet, becoming part of the clan's second-line military units. By the end of the Second Succession War, they were thought to be completely eliminated in the inner sphere. Comstar, though, had many stored on Terra, and on Tuckide, their hammers would hit with all the might and fury once again. Subscribe for more videos like this. Bye for now.